We've been in this for more than 20 years, and we know what our dogs are like. When you start breeding different dogs to uh, different dogs, you could like end up with anything. But uh, if you start with a good dog, and you breed it to another good dog, and you start bringing out good qualities, you want to continue this. And it takes experience, it takes time, and it takes knowing what you're doing to do this. So if somebody's looking for a good Bouvier, they should go to somebody that's been doing it for a long time. Uh, at least you got a, a better chance that way of getting a good puppy. Okay, Bouvier de Flanders means cow dog of Flanders, cow dog of France. So, it, so they are really originated in Belgium, France that part of the country. What was the breed originally bred for? Bred for uh, cow dogs, uh, for protecting and guarding the flock, for um, farm dogs. Uh, they were used, well, they were used in the war for uh, dovers, um, detecting living wounded, different things like that. Hey, over here. Bouvier is very people oriented. He's very family oriented. He wants to be right where you are. Uh, some people keep them outside, but you keep them outside and you lose that bond between the dog and the family. Well, the Bouvier should be a large, rugged, stocky type dog, a torsoed coat, uh, sort of a messed up type look. Um, he should be very intelligent, he should be stable, uh, temperament should be very stable, easy to work with, um, a little bit on the lazy side, low-keyed, easy to live with, easy keepers. What kind of maintenance does the Bouvier need? Well, they do require some grooming. Uh, they're pretty much non-shedding. You take a comb and a brush through them once a week. Um, keep their toenails trimmed occasionally. You can have them professionally groomed a couple times a year. Uh, they're not a smelly dog. They don't absorb odors because the hair is more or less dry to the touch and has a little bit of a coarse feel to it. Uh, the Bouvier is not a picky dog. He gets along very well with other animals. A little bit leery of strangers. Uh, a little bit standoffish, which is is what the breed is all about. You know, so they say bye bye. A lot of them say only bye bye bye. It's one command that kind of teaches the dog that the back and up's coming. What is it like? What are some of the Bouvier's inherited health problems? Really don't have too many inherited health problems. Uh, any large dog, you have to watch hip dysplasia. Um, you should have them checked regularly for different health problems. You should have the thyroid checked, uh, different things like that if you're having any problems. Um, but they're, they're pretty easy keepers. They're a rugged breed. <laughs> Watch this because he takes a gun, has to put it on the table, and then comes back to get it done. No! What are your feelings on the Bouvier as a protection dog? 
think there's different kind of protection dogs. Uh, there's dogs that will protect naturally, and then there's dogs that are taught to protect. Uh, Bouvier is a natural protector. <laughs> What should somebody look for when they're purchasing a Bouvier? It depends on the, on the person that's buying the Bouvier. Uh, if they're looking for a uh, pet quality puppy, they just care that it has four legs and hair. You know, it's, it's a fine dog to them. Uh, somebody that's looking for a, a guard dog, or he wants to attack train it by any chance, he's looking for a dog that has a little bit of aggression in its system, an outgoing dog. <laughs> What are your buyer requirements? Require the person buying the dog to be honest with us because we want to know what he's, what he's going to do with the dog. I want to make sure he's not going to abuse the dog or use it for anything illegal or, or whatnot. And by talking to people for, you know, 20 some years of being raised in Bouviers, you can generally tell what their intentions are. And uh, if they're not honest with us, we just don't want to deal with them. We won't sell them the dog. We get a lot of different questions about the Bouvier. We're, a, we're glad to take any of your phone calls, answer any of your questions, or if you'd like, you're welcome to come out to the kennel and visit us. We live right here on the same property. Uh, well, we ship dogs all over the world. Uh, we are about 35 miles east of the greater Pittsburgh airport. Uh, that's where most of our dogs are shipped out of. Um, I make all the arrangements. I call the airport, um, I give you a phone call, uh, tell you when to pick the puppy up at the airport, I put him on a plane and you have him within a matter of a couple hours, depending on where you are in the country. Uh, we've shipped them all over the United States, we have them in uh, Japan, uh, the Netherlands, Africa, uh, Mexico, they travel all over. <laughs> assist the buyer in selecting the right puppy for them if you're looking for a, uh, just a, an all-around dog to keep in the house with your family it'd be great you know we can supply you with a pet quality puppy if you're looking for a dog for schutz and training you want a special kind of uh, personality uh, we might not have it right away but we can get it for you eventually we're going to have one here and uh, and then again if you want a dog that's for uh, top show quality, a pick of the litter puppy, which is a very special type of puppy. Uh, we get those too. And uh, whatever it is you're looking for, eventually we'll have it for you. It's one command that kind of teaches the dog to put back and up coming. We'd like to thank Rick Maples of Bremerton, Washington, and his Bouvier titled in the French ring, Johnny, as well as Chris Harris for their video footage and their help in this particular breed segment.